Hello, welcome to SCT1 Math with Joe Beck. This is lecture number two. And today we'll be going over still the basics, right? Arithmetic skills and concepts. So if any of you guys are following along in the Barron's book, please turn to chapter three and you know, because I follow along, right? So again, we're still focusing a little bit on the basics, but I'll show you what we can do with the basics. So we're gonna start with just reading a problem that's supposed to be a little bit challenging, right? It says, the first term in a geometric sequence is two. The common ratio is three. The first term in arithmetic sequence is 3, and the common difference is 3. Let's set x be the set containing the first six terms of the geometric sequence, and set y be the set containing the first six terms of the arithmetic sequence. What is the sum of the elements in x intersection of y? So when you guys read something like this, right, um, you know, some of you guys might be like, oh, that's easy, right, that's great. But for those who are being like, what, right, it can almost sound like alien language, right? Don't worry, we will go over all of these type of languages, so by the and you should be able to do this problem without too much difficulty. Okay, so starting off, just a weird, cool thing where just a whole bunch of symbols are, you know, just going around. So, um, you know, there are a lot of things that you need to understand about math and know the basics of. And again, these are just the basics, so it might be easy for a lot of you guys, but again, you have to know them very well. It's so like the you know, palm back of the back of your hand, right? So what they say, right? So, right, starting off, whole numbers. Okay, whole numbers include any numbers that are well, whole, right? So including 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever, right? Does not include negative numbers, does not include decimals or fractions, just whole numbers that are positive. Now, integers, integers, same thing as whole numbers, except they include the scale of all the negative numbers as well. Okay, but again, still no fractions, still no decimals, right? Just, you know, negative a thousand to, you know, positive a thousand, but zero is an integer. That's one thing that a lot of students do not get right. Zero is also an integer. Now prime numbers, here's also where students go a little bit wrong. Prime numbers, one is not, is not, not, right? A prime number, it starts with two, three, five, seven, etc, etc. Definition of a prime number. The definition is any number that is divisible by only two numbers. Again, only two numbers, right? One number is by its uh, by one, right? And the other number is by itself. Okay, so any number that is divisible by two numbers, right? By one and by itself. By definition, one does not work because one is only divisible by one number, which is one and which one is itself, right? So therefore, one is not a prime number. It's two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, uh, nineteen, etc., etc. Okay, those are prime numbers. Now you guys need to know them down cold. Okay. Now, rational numbers. Rational numbers actually comes from the name ratio, right? Ratio, most of the time, meaning a fraction, okay? Therefore, um, ra rational numbers, as I said, right, are fractions such as two-thirds that have integers above and below the fraction bar, okay? So two-thirds, okay? Now, it can also be terminating decimals such as 0.75. Terminating in the sense that, right, um, well, after 0.75, it doesn't repeat anymore. Okay, and um, if you guys notice as well, like I said, ratios describe fractions because it describes ratios, right? Well, 0.75 is just a decimal equivalent of a fraction, right? 0.75 is anything as three over four. Okay, same thing, non-ending repeating decimals such as 0.333333, again, no, 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 right? So this is a number that you have the same thing of and it just repeats over and over and over and over again. Right? This also counts as a rational number because, well, 0 0.3333 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, over and over again is the same thing as one third, which is again a fraction, which is therefore a ratio. So those are all things that you call a rational number. Now you also need to be familiar with irrational numbers. Okay? Irrational numbers also, um, you know, the opposite in a sense, right? Because they 